Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be sorting out my girl group's photo cards. Um, I have a lot of photo cards to go through. So we have this to start off the video with. And then I have my boy groups, which is why. And that's a lot of photo cards with just TXT alone because of their deco kit, which is why I decided to split this video into two parts again, because I really don't like filming long videos and I don't like editing too much as well and yeah so i'm actually going to start off with ive and la seraphim first i put this binder here i actually don't know why i put it but i guess i did it for thumbnail purposes so we're gonna move on to those binders first okay so we are starting off with my a5 binder so as you can tell i have decided to finally use one of these um i usually just use regular a4 binders but i decided for my smaller collections to move everything onto here okay there you go i am buying extra albums in order for me to do cover pages like this because i thought it would be looking nice to divide my groups in this binder by like these instead of just the white pages like i have on my a4 binders so to start off the video we are going to begin with ive and then we're going to move on to the next group after that so for ive these are my pools from their 11 album and then these are my pools for love dive and then starting over here we have the jewel case which i decided to collect ot6 for i actually end up pulling one young a lot for some reason and then because I bought an extra Love Dive album, I ended up pulling Ray's photo card along with Eugen's. And the way that I have it is by age order. I know that these aren't by age order, but that's because this is the first version and then this is the second version. So I wanted to keep the versions like that. But if I do buy like extra duplicate albums, then I do it by age order. And there we go so like i said the jewel cases since i didn't have a bias at the time when i was starting to collect ive and buying their albums i just decided to buy ot6 of the jewel cases i did end up getting some extra duplicate members so i traded for some of them but then i couldn't find a trade specifically for this liz photo card so i ended up buying another jewel case i pulled one young's photo card and then i traded my extra one young for Liz photo card but yeah this is the layout that I am going with and I absolutely loved it and finally I have come to terms and decided my two biases for I will be one young and gal I'm not actually going into collecting them specifically because one young is really expensive and overpriced and I also don't want to stress myself with collecting their photo cards so I'm just content with having their album pools and if they ever continue doing like OT6 stuff like this then i will be collecting ot6 for that but for now this is the way that i will be keeping and having them now we're going to move on to la seraphim and as you can see i do have my sticky notes on this because i still have yet to buy an extra album for them i only have one version of each album but i usually end up buying multiple versions so for the cover, I have decided to use volume 2, which is the blue cipher. Um, I think I pronounced it right. I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I butchered that one. But it's the gray version of the album, just because they're like, they look so pretty. And it just reminds me of like mermaids in the blue and then the flowers. But I'm still contemplating about actually using that album because for my volume 1, which is the black version, um, the cars, sporty um, motorcycle theme. I ended up pulling Garam's photo card for that, which I'm actually not gonna put in my binder, you know, like, you know, so, um, yeah, I may end up buying that album and take my chances to not pulling her card again, but I don't know yet, or I may just end up buying K1's photo card for that because she has my bias, and I do want to collect but then at the same time i don't want to collect i may just trade my pools and go from there so these are from the these photo cards are from the little one 
I don't know what it's called. I feel like, but it's not really a jewel case. I can't call it a jewel case because it's not really a jewel case. And then this is my blue cipher or volume to Unche photo card that I pulled in my albums. And I'll put it right here because it is volume two. So I still need to put a volume one photo card there. And I believe that is it for this binder. As you can tell, I do have it sorted the way that I want to um, put my photo cards. Actually, while I'm at, at it, let me take a quick cut because I am going to be moving my photo cards in here. So I've decided to take Chungha out of my bigger girl group binder because she doesn't have a lot of photo cards. Um, and I think it would be better to put her collection here. And I'm still contemplating over which version I actually want to use. So let me just take a quick pause and I'll get all the photo cards out from that binder. Okay, so I have taken out all of the photo cards. I'll re-put the sticky note when I figure it out. So literally she doesn't have as many photo cards in her albums and I really don't collect her photo cards. I know that she has more photo cards but I just keep my pools. So I'm just gonna put all of these in here. Oh no wonder. So this is actually the cover page. I thought I ran out of these pages. I was wondering why the pages aren't fitting and I just remember that the dragon shield sleeves do not actually fit so I need to remove those sleeves from all of these photo cards. Okay, so now they should be going in perfectly since I am using some smaller sleeves that are fit for this binder. And for this, I'm actually going to jump onto Killing Me because I want to keep Play and the bigger album that kind of sounds, that kind of looks similar to Quinceanera because I keep getting myself confused and I'm just going to put them uh, like this. I am thinking of buying another um, set album, particularly the off version or another blooming album. It depends and so the extra photo card will just go here to fill up that spot because Play has four photo cards and then the bigger album has four photo cards as well and the pages are four photo cards so that will just fit in perfectly. Okay, and there we go. So now Chang Ha is complete. Another group that I am contemplating about moving into this binder is Everglow, but I'm still deciding whether I do want to move them or not. Um, one of the main reasons is because I'm probably going to need to buy another binder because this is already getting full and I still need to add my boy group's photo cards into here. So that is it for this binder. So now we're gonna move on to Twice. Okay, so here we have my TWICE album and I actually don't have any like TWICE sauna photo cards to add in. I haven't done any progress on her photo cards. I'm still missing some Fancy, The Year of Yes, um, a one photo card from Eyes Wide Open. For today, I'm actually, where is it? I think it's more in front. Just have some pre-order benefits to add into the binder and I believe this is Twice Coaster Lane 2 which is this one so I am gonna be inserting them backwards like this And there we go, so this is how the back side looks. And with this, I think I'm actually done with Twice Coaster Lane 2. I still need a couple of pre-order benefits to find and buy. Um, but this binder is getting really filled up. So 
so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I've already taken out all the inclusions. I've already um, taken out my pobs, holders, and all that, and I'm still running out of room. So one of the things I'm deciding to do is probably move the pre-order benefits into their own binder, but I'm still contemplating on actually what to do with this. So we're gonna move on to my girl group binder, which is the last final binder for this video. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now we have my girl group binder, which like I said, I'm still debating about removing Everglow um, and basically just keeping this binder Stacy and Kepler only since I feel like that is, I only have Everglow left. And yeah, so starting off with Stacy, I have quite a bit of photo cards to add and some going back to stereotype era. And that is right here. So I finally got my last photo card for their with drama four, which is this one, the little emoji filter photo card and i am officially done with this era which it feels so good to finally be done and add in the last photo card we're gonna move on to young love which i have decided to actually go and collect ot6 for the ar cards um i don't have one right now since those are going to be arriving with my young love albums whenever my gom ships them so it's gonna arrive in a couple of weeks no, I don't know when, probably next month. Well, July is literally next week. So obviously next month. Um, but yeah, I do already have all the other three members. I just need to wait for my gome to ship them out. And starting off over here, so I finally got the love version, which I ended up trading. I think I had Suman for this and I then traded her photo card. I ended up buying an extra Young album because I thought I was buying Love and I pulled Shein's photo card again. So thankfully I did trade. So I got her photo card and on here I'm going to be adding the jewel case. And I know I have Yoon here on a Shein page. I'm thinking of probably removing Yoon and putting her on the AR page because I also bought Sans photo card for I don't know which version it is but she has she's doing her hand like this I think it's the young version I just could not pass up on that photo card so when my gome posted all their extra photo cards up for sale I immediately DM'd for that photo card which I'm excited so I may just end up actually moving Yoon and Sans with the AR cards so that this page can still be Shein only. And then here we have the other pop, which is the jewel case pop. Now, if you collect Stacy, you know how hard it was to get these photo cards. They literally sold out within the day that the thing was posted. And then they restocked for like an hour and sold out again and then never came back. So these photo cards are heavily overpriced. But I think if you buy a set, you can probably end up getting them cheaper. But I also already pre-ordered their um light stick which we're finally getting one and it's sold out and has not restocked yet hopefully they restock because i know some people are still waiting for the restock so that is it for this page i just added the tire records polaroid onto it and then moving on to this one that one is still sitting in my korean address not korean so this one is still sitting in my japan sendiko warehouse because i was too lazy to I haven't even bought anything on there so I'm buying a couple of items so that it's worth shipping it out to me um, and I need to ship it out because I'm running out of deadline days now. So we're going to move on to with drama. So this is the first one and she has the hollow. Um, for this era, Stacy did not do any Polaroids. Instead, they were just signing the photo cards. So I do have her winning benefit signed with drama photo card. I would show it, but I have I don't think the signatures are disclosed yet, even though we all know what their signs look. I think it's just placement of where she signed and all that because people have been replicating some of the signed win benefits so be cautious with buying that and then all of this actually i think i have these so one of my friends hosted a group order for stacy's uh entire young love merch set so i did claim Shein. um the only thing is that the template that i use for Shein's includes a group photo card 
and I love completing templates but I'm kind of iffy if I want to get a group photo card or not. They're not expensive, people are selling it for like 2 to 3 dollars, it's just I don't know if I want to add a group photo card onto this. I may just do it for template purposes but at least I have her complete set. So these are the photo cards for the PC set. I want to say, am I right? Because there's two and two. Um, uh, let me go back and check these because I probably mixed up the order of how I was adding some things. So I'm just going to cut real quick. Okay, so I figured it out. I did have it mixed up. So these three right here are the photo card set, which I have decided to put right here. And this is the order that I'm going with just because these have similar theme and then moving on to over here I have the collect book photo cards which are these two right here so I'm actually gonna put this one in the middle because I really love how it looks And then I have the stickers, which are these two right here. And I will be putting them like this. This one will go over here because it's pink. And then this one matches with the border of that one, which is why it's going to go on the other side. So like this. And then these photo cards right here come from the glitter photo card case. And then the bracelet photo card, which I really desperately need. And I saw it on Mercari Japan for like $200. I don't know why it's so expensive. I regret not getting this. Finally, we're gonna move on to the last photo cards for Xi'an. And that is the collaboration photo cards. So I finally got my season greetings. So this is the pop, or it's actually the first press if you pre-order it. Um, you get it and then I also have her ID card which is right here it's basically like a lucky draw material obviously ID cards are like that I'm still looking for the my show too and then I have to complete this page over here I have her lens made photo card um, I did state that my glow accidentally sent this to France but thankfully the person sent it back and now she has arrived Moving on to Sullivan, so finally have the last photo card for the first collaboration that they did. They've done more collaborations, which I still need to find. Um, and then I have the Christmas one, which is actually hollow, but the front does not show it as much. The back shows it more. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but this is the one that will go here. I have these from my Young Love Gome, and they did a shampoo collaboration where they had two photo cards. One was a unit, which was Xi'an and Simon, and then one was a solo card, which I still need to find. Um, I think the collaboration or the limit, the time period for the photo cards has already ended. So I don't think buying a set now is going to get me the photo cards. But I will be talking to my gom if it's still available so that I can get her photo cards since I missed a listing of someone who was selling the set. Moving on to Everglow, I just have a couple of photo cards from their latest album to add. I finally have one of these on the way. I ended up buying it with an extra album, which is why another reason I want to move these into an A5 binder because... Um, I think I can make a good page instead of a full page and a five page would look really nice. Or maybe I'll just keep them in here because opening this binder now, they do have a bit more photo cards than I was expecting. So this is the first photo card of the Galaxy one, which will go right here. And that completes that one. And then this is the final photo card for the biker version. And then this page is all complete. And now we're going to move on to this one. And this completes, actually no, this is the second photo card for Galaxy. So I'm just missing one more Galaxy photo card and one more biker to be done with her set. I have actually have not been looking for trades, which I probably should be looking for, but I haven't. Well, finally, moving on to the last group, we have Kepler, which I'm excited to say that I finally completed OT9 for First Impact. Um, I still obviously need to work on 
the is it double du it's not double because it stops up and can goes to blast or so the blast i think that's how you pronounce the album name i could be wrong but yes i am finally moving on to that one so this is the connect zero version and this is the first photo cards and then there's another set for connect zero as well so finally this page is complete moving on to this one i do have the photo cards on hand i just am saving them for another video um particularly because i want to do another one of those collective mail videos but this time i'm trying to save up all the mail to make in one video instead of recording separate clips and doing it that way which is why i am not going to be putting her in yet but she is on hand i have officially completed all the photo cards finally got my photo cards from trades of people who had ghosted me um so that is exciting i had to i didn't trade with the people who ghosted me i had to find new trades and then this one complete stairs so we are done for connect i do have all the cards now moving on to connect one which we have eugen right here and then i got my chan photo cards so this page is complete and then we have xiao ting over here And this page is complete so this Diane photo card is actually in my collective mail so which is why I'm not putting that one in. Moving on to the M-Wave pop so this was if you bought signed albums from M-Wave you got a pre-order benefit. I did not buy all albums from M-Wave like all their signatures. Am I putting this in the right page? I think I was not. Um, I only bought three albums, so I only ended up getting Shouting, Mashiro, and Diane's photo cards, but I did go out and buy or trade. Actually, I didn't think I traded any. Buy these photo cards. So we have that one. And then Hikaru's and Youngun's photo card. I already have them. They're sitting on my Mercury Japan along with my Shein photo card. I just need to ship them out, but this set is complete. I still need to set up my album for their latest album. I haven't done that yet. One of the main reasons why is because I'm not going to get be getting my albums anytime soon. It's going to be like four to five months until I get the rest of my albums. So I did pre-order them off k for You, which means I will be getting two pre-order benefits that I do not know what I'm going to be doing with those. And then I bought albums. Obviously, I had to buy their album signed from M-Wave, but this is where it's like, why, why did I even do this to myself? So I ended up buying nine sets from M-Wave, which is a total of 18 albums, which means I'll be getting 18 pre-order benefit cards along with 18 signed albums. I don't know what was going through my mind when I made that order. I think I was buying nine albums, like I wanted to buy nine albums, but instead of remembering that there's two in every set, I went along and just bought nine as my order number. And it wasn't until this morning when I was looking at my orders to see what I have incoming and what I need to buy and all that, that I noticed that number. So yeah, those will be coming in like, like I said, four to five months um, since signed albums do take a while and why is this sticking out yeah and i have hikaru coming from a group order looks like this page is bigger than it should be i don't know should i cut this out we're just gonna do it we're just gonna try and fix this That was probably not straight, but it's fixed. I I just saw this and it was bugging me. Anyway, so yeah, I have all those albums incoming on the way. And 
I will be unboxing their album whenever it arrives with my Omega X and my Nyan album since I decided to order all those together. And so hopefully we'll see which photo cards I pull in that album. And then that is it for this video. Um, yeah, I basically don't have anything else to say. I'm finally glad that I sat down and put my photo cards in because I had a huge pile particularly for them. And then I didn't want to wait anymore because of comebacks coming soon. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing day. So I'ma let the sun cry.